Hello everyone, Valentine Ose here for Graded Picture Playground. I want to appreciate everyone by saying thank you very much for the likes, for the subscription. So when I have uh, a reasonable number of people asking a particular question, I will be making a tutorial to portray more on that particular uh, topic. So once again, if this is your first time on this channel, hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to get notified when new video is uploaded. Keep sharing our tutorial, keep giving it the thumb up because it's going to help us in knowing that you all appreciate everything that we are doing. Share to your friend and recommend our channel to your friend because more and more tutorials, in-depth tutorials on video editing, filmmaking, will be coming up on this channel on a regular basis. So in this tutorial, I want to show you how to animate lines that you created from legacy title, either from the middle of the line or from the start of the line. This is what I mean. So first thing first, you click on File, New, you come down to Legacy Title. So if you've not seen the tutorial on how to use and locate the legacy title, click on the notification icon at the top right corner of your screen to see that tutorial. So this is it. You click on the new legacy title and you OK. Let's not just name that. So you come down, it pops up like you've seen. You click the line icon. If you've not seen the tutorials on the properties, of legacy title click on the notification icon at the top of your screen to see the properties where i explained in details what each of those properties in legacy title how they work so we want to create a line because that is what we want to work on how to animate line either from the middle or from the start of that line on horizontal form and vertical Form. So this is it. You hold down your shift to have a perfect line, just as you have this. So you click on it, you increase it to make it 20. So let's pose it, center it by bringing it down to centralize. So you close, bring the line on top of the image on your timeline. So this is it, nothing has happened. You click on that image, you come down to your effects. Like I said in a previous tutorial, if you want to apply animation, if you've not seen the tutorial on how to use the transform effect, you can click the notification icon at the top of your screen to see the tutorial on how to use the transform effect. So we search for transform, and your transform effect is under video effects. Then you go to distort, you see your transform effects. Like I advised in our previous tutorials, you, I don't always encourage you using this motion properties because uh, it doesn't have much flexibility when you are making certain effects. So if you open up your motion property and that of the transform property, you see that they have similar functions. So after applying your transform effect, you uncheck the uniform scale, ensure that your time slider is at the beginning, then come to your scale width, bring it down to zero. That is it. You hit on your keyframe stopwatch, take your slider, forward to the area or to the spot that you want your line to animate, then take the scale width back to 100 and click OK. When you play, this is what you get. You see your line animates from the middle. This is it. smooth and simple. If you want it to be faster, you take your keyframe closer. If you've not seen tutorial on how to use keyframe, hit on the notification icon to see the tutorial on how to use keyframe. 
So you five, you see it's faster now. If you open it up, it becomes slower. So if you want your keyframe to be faster, you make it come closer. Then if you want it to be slower, you open it out just as you have this. So that is how you animate your line from the middle. So let's go to animating from the start of your line. So take out the transform effects to undo that. So you play, nothing is happening. To make the line animate from the start, either from the left hand side to the right hand side, you come and search for the crop effects, which I've searched here. You have place it on the line, click on the crop effects, under your effects and control to reveal the bands of the crop effects. You come down by pulling the band to the left hand side, then click on the stopwatch, take your time slider forward to the spot that you want the line to reveal or the length that you want it to get to. Then come back to your crop, click on it to reveal the band, then push it forward. So you see that the first part we made a keyframe, then this is the next keyframe. So let's play it now. You see your line would animate from the start. So that is how to animate line from the middle and from the start. It's also applicable to when you're making your line on the vertical form. So let's remove this crop effect from this very line. Then let's delete this particular line as well. Now let's go back to new legacy title, then to create another line in the vertical form. So you click on the line, you hold down your shift and you draw that line vertically. So you increase the weight to same 20 and you close. Bring the line to your timeline. Place it on your timeline. Let's make adjustments so that the line will be properly positioned. So you bring it to your timeline, come to your effects, take the crop effect and place it on that line. Hit the crop effect under your effects and control to reveal the bands. Pull the down part up to close up the line. Then take your timeline slider to the beginning. Hit on the stopwatch. Take your timeline slider to the spot that you want to start revealing the line. Hit on the crop effects to reveal the band, then pull it down till the line reveal itself. So when you play, you have line animating from top to bottom. So that is how you animate line that you created with legacy title or even that which you created with Insertia graphics too. Anything that has to do with lines, this is how you animate it. I hope this tutorial helps and is going to enhance your editing skill. If this is your first time on this channel, hit the subscribe button and click on the notification bell. If you like this video, give it a thumb up and share with your friends and encourage them to subscribe because this will help us a lot. I am Valentine Ose, your host for Graded Picture Playground Tutorial.